Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a little bit about the Galaxy S8, uh, specifically the, the regular S8. Um, to be honest with you, actually, on my own preference, uh, I really don't look for the latest and greatest on talking about cell phones. For me, there's something very, very important, which is a battery life. Battery life for me, you know, because of the type of work that I that I do, or because of my duties, daily duties, actually I need something that gives me enough time to go through the day. And not only having nice screen, having nice design, this is cool, but for me especially, it's battery life. And that's specifically what, what I'm going to talk to you guys uh, about today. This is the T-Mobile version. And I'm going to go through the details because you guys know uh, what's going on with this phone so far. So... The first thing that I uh, came to see is that when I got the phone, I was getting about three hours, three to four hours of screen time. And basically no more than 11 to 12 hours of daily usage. So the first thing that I did was get the, the application named BK Disabler from the Play Store. So here it is. What I want to share with you guys today is what are you able to disable and what you're not supposed to disable in order to keep the phone working and at the same time save, uh, have, a, have a good battery result. So here, if you see, there, is, there are a few tabs. You got blowers, you got install apps, and also you got system apps here. I only want to share what I was able to uh, to disable without hurting the phone, without messing around other things. Because remember, I also have a Galaxy Gear S, which uh, I have to keep connected through Bluetooth, so I'm not able to disable Bluetooth. Going first to the blower, as you can see, I disable BBC Agent, Brain Thing, and Cam Mode Stop. You can see it there clearly. So let's keep going. Remember, this is an entirely informal video, just, just so you know guys what you can disable without messing up the phone. You can see there, I'm going to keep scrolling, you can take a look, find my mobile, Facebook app messenger, uh, manager, Facebook app installer, Galaxy Essential widget, Gear VR, uh, which in the Gear VR case, uh, the setup wizard, I'm going to have to put it back again because I'm about to get my my Gear VR uh, coming soon, so I'm going to have to put it back again, but let's keep going. Look out, of course. My interest, nearby services. Prince Puller. Samsung Connect. I'm not saying that this is going to apply to everybody, but in most of the cases, it works like, you know, for my phone, for my two phones, it's been working fantastic. And I've, and I've been saving a lot of uh, battery life. At the end of the video, I'm going to give you my battery stats so you can see uh, my results. I'm going to keep scrolling so you can make note and see what you're able to disable. Okay, I'm going to go back again. And then you kept seeing... Uh, you can keep seeing whatever you're supposed to disable and not. Here, remember that we are talking about the... It's a huge list. Here, we're talking about the blower. Now, let's go to the system app. In system app, you got to be a little more careful because if you break something, if you uh, stop and some, t some kind of service, you can get stuck on boot load. So here you can see... Let me... Okay, here you have a better view. Okay, have you guys making notes? <laughs> uh, of course, all the big C, big B, big B, sorry, big B services, all of them, I got them disabled. Let's keep going, let's keep scrolling. No issues whatsoever. Let's keep going down. Let's 
Remember, everything still works. My uh, Galaxy S3 watch works perfectly. Also, Samsung Pay works without issue. Uh, let me go back here, and maybe you missed. You, you can always pause the video and you know make notes. And remember, this is the T-Mobile version. <clears throat> the application, I think, it has a cost of, of 149 and you can get it from Play Store. Everything that you see that is checked is because it's been disabled. And you, you don't need to be rude. That's not going to trip your knock services, so don't worry about it. You're going to have a faster phone and much, much better battery life. Okay, that was system applications. I'm getting of screen usage, five hours in heavy usage, let me tell you, watching Netflix and doing a bunch of things. I've been getting five hours and 38 minutes. That's during a period of 24 hours. You see there? 24 hours, 26 minutes with really, really heavy usage. Uh, five to six hours of screen time and more than 24 or 24 hour hours of usage. Uh, something also that I want to add here is that in settings, you can also tweak the, the, the power management. This is my setup. I went to mid, customize to mid. Let me see if I can adjust. This is looking a little bit. Go to mid configuration. I have so far minus 10, uh, 1080 resolution, the CPU, the CPU limiter in on, and the background network usage on. Always on display, of course, uh, off. But you can go here to the right side, to the right side of the phone here at the top. Let's see here. Uh, hold on, guys. Let me see. Mid and customize. I'm sorry, customize. Here you can like individually select. Let's say that you don't need background network usage. You can turn it off here, on and, and off. Let's say you need the uh, on display on and, and off, you can customize it here too. So you have options. It's not only like the standard settings that Samsung offer out of the box, so, but you can also here select. This, the, if you wanna throttle the CPU, you can do it here or you don't. It's totally up to you. You can go to uh, Minus five on display, keep the CPU control under control and allow like the network activity on the back. So as you can see, I've been running Netflix like crazy, Google Play Music, uh, B Player, Firefox, which is a really heavy and battery consumer browser. You can, you'll be able like without rooting the phone, you'll be able to, to disactivate any application that you don't want it to be running. That's including, as I said before, bloatware, system applications, favorite, or whatever you install it on the phone. I mean, I think it's awesome. I mean, you can do a lot of stuff here, which you can go through, and you can do like automatic uh, cleanup too, which I don't really rec recommend, because uh, you know, you need to know what you're disabling here. Well, guys, I hope you guys have a great experience doing this. Let me know on your comments what was the result. Any questions you have, please shoot me down there. Uh, well, guys, I hope that this helped you. And uh, let's see what's going on. Let me know down there about your experience. Thank you so much. Bye.